What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. This is Lady Nika, and with another reality recap. And this time it's going to be, uh, let me give my nose tag. It's gonna be Love and Hip Hop New York. This is part one of seat of the season. Um, no, it ain't. Y'all, it's almost one a.m. and I said I was gonna do better by keeping my videos out. So. Excuse me if I seem a little bit out of it. I'm tired as hell, but I'm dedicated to the cause. But uh, this is going to be Love and Hip Hop New York, the reunion show for season five, part one. Whew. All right, y'all. So it started off with a pre-recorded um, a pre-recorded interview Erica did with old Pimp Mona. And she talking about her relationship with Sin and... You know, my issue with is simply with this interview that uh is simply this with that interview. Uh Erica bitch, I try to rock with you, ho, but you <laughs> this the kind of shit that make a bitch like me say fuck you and I hope that, you know, all your shit crumbles, bitch, before your face. This hoe did a pre recorded interview, y'all, and she did not you know, she, she did the bold bitch shit. You know, the bold shit, but you ain't bold enough to actually sit at the reunion and tell the story how it went. She basically shaded everybody on that stage saying that, you know, she was the storyline, you know, for most of the people on there. And that, you know, she's elevated to doing better things. And at this point, I'm like, no, bitch, no. No, honey. <sighs> But let me remind a bitch how this shit really went. You know, you and she was only with Sin for a few episodes. Uh, you know, they only had Sin talking about her a few episodes of this show, and that's because it was left off from last season, season four. So she had to deal with the, you know, closing up of this relationship. So that's one person she lied about. Okay, the next one, um, who was the next person? Um, Chrissy. Chrissy only fucked with her for about like two episodes. And that's because, you know, to in Chrissy's eyes, she had been a disobedient, disrespectful, you know, form of hoe of hers. Because y'all know Chrissy's supposed to be a pimp, right? Uh, Diamond, Johnny, and Precious. And Yandy didn't give two fucks about no Erica. So, I don't know, child. Where she get this here? They looking for a storyline. And she done elevated them to... Whatever the fuck this bitch thinks she done elevated to the child, I don't know. And we all know Tara, Pete, and Amina didn't fart on her ass none this, this season. So, I, I don't know who actually benefited from, you know, her child being on the show. Child, let me see. Who really benefited from this, being on the on, from this bitch being on the show? And the survey says... You, bitch. You the only one that fucking benefited from you being on there. Anyway, she sat there and basically talked down on everybody. And I'm thinking, bitch, did you, you know, <coughs> you, you talking like you on such a different level now. And, honey, all you did was, you know, you probably pulled one on Bow Wow that he ain't had in a while or never experienced. And that's just a dick and ball in your mouth at the same time, bitch. That's all you did. You act like you done been discovered by somebody and you doing great things. You're not doing all of that, Erica. So, I don't know why you feel like you you, you so much better. What, okay, you wouldn't have got a rapper. He ain't even an alias rapper. What the fuck are you talking about? You know, and I don't see him staying with her. For real, right now, yeah, everything might be peaches and cream with them motherfuckers, but I'm be real with y'all. I don't see him uh staying with this bitch, and I, I don't blame him. Shit, fuck her. I I didn't get Erica purpose, you know. You got on here and you you disrespected every damn body on the damn show, trying to make it seem like she had that Nene leaks effect on her ass last night. Like she the queen of the show, and everybody checking for her. They are who they are because of her. Good. Have several seats, you stupid bitch, you. I, I'm so sick of that bitch. I'm glad she gone. And, and part of me was halfway excited for her to have, um, you know, miss somebody and, and somebody taking some genuine interest in her. But, child, that girl ain't... Erica act like she more than where she is. I don't know how she get the... Bitch, you still doing club uh, appearances and shit. So, who are you? What you on? 
Child, whatever. Anyway. Child next to the camera went over to sin. And she introduced her little man. Little Raymond, whatever the fuck his name is, you know. And you know Mona misses here. She had them cameras pan over there on Cisco. And you could see the, you know, kind of the hate on that bitch face. He looked like a big ass salty, sweaty bitch. You know. Uh, I guess because he really liked her. You know, he liked the sin, but she rebuffed his ass. So, you know, seeing her on the show with a man, they really just kind of, you know, make him feel happy. You know, he kind of pissed off that she wasn't, you know, she wasn't checking for that community dick he around here giving out. And I don't blame her. Why should she here? She just got rid of some community pussy. I damn, I don't blame you seeing girl run. Okay, next we see Samantha Mama. Y'all remember Samantha Mama from earlier on up in the season? That is Mendice's baby mama mother. And y'all remember the, uh, you know, they had this big argument and fight because Mendice's mom, Judy, had threw that drink on that woman. Well, they on the stage now, child. And in my opinion, Kim really was doing too damn much. She was trying to be... You know, it was over dramatic. Now, bitch was clean, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, she had a little tux on and shit. You know, she had a little suit on. Had her cornrows looking straight and decent and shit. But the bitch just did too damn much. I don't know if it was for comic relief or what. But she was acting a damn fool, child. But the only thing we got out of that is she still want to spend more time with the child. Um, her and Mandisa had a little change in the words about who was really spending most time with the child while he was out, you know, locked up or whatnot. Uh, we found out Miss Judy never paid for the dry cleaning of the first suit when she threw the water or whatever that was in that glass on that woman. Child. This was quite a segment of that show because I ain't gonna lie, Kim did the most, y'all. I, I couldn't do nothing. I kind of got my kiki on, but I'm like, child, Miss Kim. Ooh. Child, Miss Kim said they had her in there cussing. And she don't cuss. And I'm thinking to myself, sir, sir, did you forget that you called his mama a whole bunch of bitches when y'all had y'all running into? So who you, who you fooling? But like I said, I guess she was for community, um, you know, comic relief, child, because it, it just, ugh. Anyway, child, next we go to Johnny Blaze and Rich Dollars, y'all. Mm. And for reasons unknown, like, Tara was up there on the stage, too. I'm assuming Tara was up there because she's the person that Rich had enlisted to try to teach Johnny some, you know, etiquette training or whatnot. I, I don't know shit. I guess that's why she there. But anyway, um... I was confused about that. Why did they have her up there? Also up there was Precious Paris, okay? And they talk about the relationship that Rich had with Johnny. And y'all know, I dislike Rich, y'all. I, I really do dislike Rich. And if y'all didn't know why, you know tonight. If you watch this review, reunion... Because Rich got up there acting like old arrogant, pompous, uh, now nigga. You know what I'm saying? Dude, you, you not that on, you know? You, you sitting here acting like you so on, but you not really on. Ain't nobody checking for you, you know, that I know of. Really tell you the truth, I don't, you know, what is his mindset? Because he was up there talking like, you know, he in demand or something. You don't do nothing but go around and pick up little girls with little to no talent that has no connections. And you make them suck your dick and all that shit and you play with them. But you don't really do anything for them. I mean, we saw that with Olivia. We saw that with Erica. We saw that with Precious. And we saw that with Johnny. So, bitch, what? 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 Child, whatever. Anyway. Now... This segment here had a couple of things going on. And the first thing I want to talk about is how he tried to be slick and nasty with Precious uh, Paris. I know last week, y'all, I called the whole Precious Pounce. I apologize for y'all to y'all for that. <coughs> Precious Pounce is a bitch I went to school with. I don't know how the hell she jumped up in my review, but in the damn way, keep it moving. He, but he over there talking about 
he wasn't never really she wasn't never really signed to him. That's why he didn't really do too much for her. You know, he said that he wasn't taking away from her talent, but he don't feel like, you know, he never really made any, you know, steps toward really putting her on the roster at Rich Dollars Production. And my thing is, bitch, you a lie. Because on the motherfucking uh, finale show, didn't this bitch sit up and say he lost two artists in one day? That was Precious and that was Johnny. So how the hell is... You know, now we on the reunion show, you won't try to, you know, come at her like that, like you never dealt with her. And then throw a little piece of, you know, a little splash of kindness in there saying you can't take away. You you was sad. You had her. You had her. You had her and she wasn't doing a motherfucking thing, you know, because you wasn't doing what you supposed to. So the girl got some hoots for about her damn self and she went out and made her own shit happen. And I'm happy for you, girl. Fuck Rich Dollars because you were never going to move past Love and Hip Hop New York fucking with him. If you think I'm lying, ask some of the previous bitches, including motherfucking Olivia. Don't ask Erica too much because she seemed to be riding high right now and this bitch think that she actually probably did something for him opposed to him doing something for her. Truth be told, neither one of them summer bitches did a motherfucking thing for each other. And I don't know why this has been old ass motherfucking uh, Rich Dollars want to sit up and act like he owned like that. Bitch, if you was on like that, why you can't pay your motherfucking child support getting arrested and shit? Because you ain't paying your motherfucking child support. Our own bitch had this shit together. He ain't got to be worried about nobody coming to snatch his ass up because he done took care of his responsibilities. So, I don't know what the fuck Rich was up there acting like he was, you know, the next big thing or a motherfucking Jay-Z or something. Bitch, there ain't nobody checking for your old ass. Sit down, crab master, okay? Sit down. But anyway, um, I didn't like how he was coming at her and Johnny didn't either. Now, you know him and Johnny didn't have disagreement, but Rich was totally out of line for how he was coming at that girl. You know what I'm saying? And she hadn't said nothing disrespectful to him. Bottom line is, bitch... I'm trying to put my product out here and become somebody and make me some coin. I signed on with your motherfucking ass because you're supposed to be somebody that can help me elevate me to the level I want to be on. But since I've been with you, bitch, you ain't did a motherfucking thing for me. But lie, uh, shift them shift ass eyes around in his damn head. And that's it. He ain't did shit for that girl. So fuck him. I don't blame her for getting on with somebody else. And then they talked about him and Johnny Blaze relationship. And I done told y'all ass before. I want to see Johnny ass win. I do. I'm one of the main motherfuckers want to see Johnny Blaze win. Because I know her background. You know. I know what she used to do. And what she had to do. And when you don't have, like I told y'all in the previous reviews, if you don't have a, a A team or at least one or two motherfuckers fucking with you that's not afraid to tell you the truth and to keep you straight so that you can elevate, then you not going to motherfucking make it in this world. You're going to be like Johnny Blaze, a female with a whole lot of fucking talent, but she can't even, you know, show that to us because one... Every time we see her, she's doing something stupid, you know, sinning with her fucking body and shit. And she not, she didn't use this platform right. You know, I would have gave Mona, because I know Mona the pimp. She she had you doing shit. But I would have gave Mona just enough to keep her satisfied. But I would have been doing a motherfucking K. Michelle and that bitch. I'll be getting my product out there letting people know. Look, I may have some issues, but my ass can sing. And I am a talent to be reckoned with if someone is willing to take the chance with me. And try to change, help me change my image and get shit going. So I want to see her win. But I don't understand how the fuck she felt like she ever was going to win. Fucking with a crusty bitch like motherfucking Rich Dollars. Child, Johnny Blaze ain't never had no father figure in her life. And from what I understand, she ain't even had a mother figure. So she one of them kids that grew up out there. You know, on their own, they out here. They just out here, y'all. And it requires some guidance. And reason why I feel like she got with Rich is because... You know, she did admit that Rich was the first person to reach out to her when her boyfriend was killed. And my thing was this. This brother let you know how fucked up this girl probably really is. 
Now, you you over here grief-stricken supposedly about your boyfriend. Your ex, one of your, I don't know if time, yeah, it was ex because she said it was last year. So, you know, her and Rich fucked around before the boyfriend situation. And that's when she put his pictures and shit out on, on Instagram. She, I seen child, I don't know what they running behind Rich Dollars for. Now, I know they say it ain't the, you know, <laughs> it ain't the size. It's the uh, motion in the ocean, but can I at least be impressed? Okay. I'm moving forward. Well, she fell in love with Rich because he reached out to her showing her some concern. And like I said, Rich Dollars is an older man compared to, you know, how old Johnny is. And she, you know, I don't give a fuck what nobody try to tell me because I'm a woman too and I know how to, you know, I'm not the only bitch on earth to feel that way. If a girl grow up without her dad, it can have some negative, you know, consequences on how she roll in the future in her adult life dealing with men. Because it's an element missing when you don't have your daddy there. And that's an element that every little girl needs, you know. We need to we need to first be shown by our fathers how a man is supposed to treat you. I think that's part of why I do like uh Pastor Shelby over there on them damn uh preachers of LA. I mean Detroit, because one thing, no matter what kind of, you know, fuck shit they have going on, you know. You can tell that that man is really concerned with his children making the best, you know, decisions about their lives and how they interact. I love the fact that he take his daughters, each one of them, he's taking them on their first date when they turn 16 to give them. That's that's your fucking outline, baby. That's that's what the fuck Johnny is missing. She need a, she needed to have had an outline. She needed a person, that first male figure in her life to tell her that she is, you know, she on them, she doing good, you know. She's a beautiful person. She don't have to take certain shit in life just to, you know, make it or have somebody she missing that element and when you missing that element well you looking for it. you i don't give a fuck you will grow up and be looking for that you will always be looking for that motherfucker that's gonna give you what you missed out on as a child and that's what johnny blade's issue is that's why she gravitated to a rich old motherfucking ass and him being a little bit concerned was all she needed to be into him because we heard her say she's still in love with this man and he ain't nowhere near in love with her. He was in that arguing, he was on that arguing with her about them damn pictures for how many? What two, three years? Motherfucker, sit down. She, she, the way he act, he ought to be partially glad. Maybe that that's you know stack up bitches for the future for him. I don't know, y'all. But they was in there arguing about this shit, and you know she said she still love him. And like I told y'all, uh, this motherfucker was a pompous ass on this bitch tonight, cause he's sitting up there acting like he really in high demand and he do shit. You know what I'm saying, motherfucker? What do you do for people? We ain't seen you do shit for not one artist that you have dealt with on this franchise. And I, when this show go on, you know, on hiatus for you know they break and shit. Watch how don't nobody say sh We already don't really be talking about his ass, but it's very, very rare Rich will pop up in any motherfucking entertainment news unless his ass get arrested again for fucking not paying that child support. Then we all know about that. But as far as him being an it person in the music business, hell to the no. Child, whatever. Let me get back these notes and see what the fuck happened. Okay. I told y'all y'all he was arguing and shit. Okay, and um, Johnny took up for precious, you know. And so, now y'all, this this right here is why I got up to go to the bar. I had to pee. Fuck these hoes. But when I came back, it was Johnny and Diamond arguing back and forth with each other. And you know, Diamond feeling some kind of way because this bitch thing, because Rich, you know. 
made her toot her ass up in the bathroom and gave her a little bit of that uh wood that she, you know, some kind of way that was who she was going to be with. I don't know what this bitch mind frame is. But her and Johnny was arguing back and forth. Child, you know, they were calling each other different things, who will and all that old shit. Then Johnny just hauled off and hit her with a, you know, <coughs> a thriller from Manila, bitch. She told that hoe, you just need to go back to Los Angeles and take care of your dog, babe. I holla, bitch. I holla. See, Johnny, my type of bitch in a way. That Ooh, baby, that was... She ain't had to say nothing else for the rest of the motherfucking uh, episode. I mean, the reunion show, she ain't want to. Because that right there was a one, two, three. Baby, that was a, a one hit of quitter for real. That was one I saw she wanted. Because, now, the reason why she told her that, that motherfucking shit, because y'all remember this stupid bitch had referred to her child as a motherfucking doll. And then, you know, um... You know, they got into it, and she, they, and she told about her child, and, you know, everybody was like, you know, I was thinking, go off, bitch. That's what I was thinking when she said that. Then, you know, we see Diamond, she on the stage, and she looking out, looking over there at Cisco, and she telling him to be quiet, because she coming for his ass next, and I'm like, bitch, what? Y'all didn't understand, this girl, this girl got a problem, y'all. Well, he let her know, you know, without him, she wouldn't even been on that motherfucking show. And then, child, I was like, true. In my best two chain voice. I don't know what's wrong with Mr. Strawberry, uh, Reverend Strawberry, daughter down there. Well, next we had a scene, you know, we brought Chinks and um, his mountain lion, Chrissy, on up to the stage. Come on through. And they talking about their relationship. And Chink said that him and his wife is not together. They live in separate places, you know. And Chris said, you know, she said her and Chink's off right now. But if he got a divorce and he wanted her back, she would go back. And then, y'all, this bitch just had a... She went into dramatic... I don't know. I think the whole went into dramatics of some sort. You know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all, you know, Erica did that interview before the show. So she did, you know, when they, when Erica and, I mean, when Johnny and they good was arguing, they showed a clip of that goddamn interview where she was talking about she don't like, uh, Johnny, I mean, she don't like Diamond and, you know, she think Diamond is disgusting for calling her child uh, a dog. And, and I agree with that, but, you know, I don't agree with the fact that this bitch was uh, able to say all this shit and, and y'all popped it off at different points as the, you know, as the people that she was talking about were going over their storylines, y'all would bring in Ms. Mental motherfucking um, interview. And that's kind of unfair because you this bitch done said all this shit, but they don't, you know, she not there. This is a reunion show. This bitch is not at the reunion show. It should have never been on tape recording. Should have just let the bitch bow it out gracefully. Cause she didn't really have a storyline this this year. She didn't really do anything. You know, her and Sin said they goodbyes finally over some tears and shit. She's supposed to be so in love with Shad, aka Bow Wow. Uh, other than that, that's, that was that bitch storyline this year. Was she fell in love with a motherfucking used to be famous rapper? I I don't get it. I don't get it. Why you kept bringing up her interview and people can't say shit back. But I digress. Let me roll back forward. This motherfucker is, uh, she jumped into some type of dramatics talking about, you know, he humiliate, humiliating her and shit. And I'm like, girl, you a former pimp, bitch. You supposed to know how to deal with a younger guy. You supposed to know how to deal with any kind of man, but if you was a true pimp, bitch, you wouldn't be broke over this shit. You wouldn't be crying and shit, because you would have seen it for what it was two years ago, or three years ago. How long y'all been together? You can't keep trying to make him and force his hand on doing nothing. If he don't want to uh, have a baby with you, bitch, then you, and you know having a baby is what your thing is, that's what you want, then you should leave this man alone and go seek out a man that may have the same, you know, aspirations for a family as you do. But you, you picked a man who clearly is not ready to make that type of commitment to you, and you started trying to stay with him. And might I add, I could slap the fuck out of whoever doing her damn makeup, because this bitch looked at old this time. Now, we know she's a motherfucking mountain lion. 
Okay? But there have been episodes where she ain't look so bad. And with this reunion, girl, you supposed to brought your A-game. You supposed to look really nice. And you really did. Your face is fucked, bitch. But in damn way, she, you know, somebody seen this shit to her that I've seen. Anyway, uh, Chinks was asked, did he understand where she was coming from? And he said, no. And bitch, I holler. Ain't nothing. He don't understand it because he he know what he there for. And it ain't never been said out loud or where we could hear it. Um, I think he never did give her no ideas that it was going. This is just until we get tired or whatever. He ain't never say nothing like the goal, the ultimate goal is you become my child, whatever shit. <sighs> Okay. As I told y'all, doing this review, I mean, doing this reunion, they kept, when they get to certain storylines and Erica and said some shit, they would show it. And I wasn't here for that. Now, I was here for how Erica paid her fucking ass dust during the uh, season when, you know, Chris spoke out on what she had, you know, what her beef was with Erica and shit. But I wasn't here for it on this reunion show. Because y'all put this uh, clip up there showing this bitch talking shit. Uh-huh. The bitch was talking motherfucking shit about uh, uh, Chrissy. Telling, talking about the woman, how she look, her age. Talking about if she put, you know, the woman business out there in her book, it would have really been a bestseller and shit. You know, basically she talking like she got the tea on the damn woman. And she also cursed this bitch woman. I could not stand it. I said, bitch, you don't realize karma is a motherfucker. What you don't do, bitch, is you don't wish bad on a whole wound. If she finds somebody that, that really want to be a father and be with her or whatnot, there's an opportunity, you know, from what we know, she still could have that baby. But, bitch, I, what if you go to try to have a baby with Bow Wow and we know you're going to try it, ho, because you're going to want to, you know, you're going to want to have you some stability, you know. You're going to try to upgrade your status at the bank for real. So, don't curse a bitch wound because that's dirty. That's all the fuck I got to say about this child. Erica act like she ain't still doing club appearances and that her claim to fame ain't motherfucking love and hip-hop. And it really is, bitch. No one is checking for you. I don't know why the fuck they brought this bitch on there. But anyway, the last uh the last people we see was Cisco Diamond, both their mamas, and Rich Dollars. And it was a lie fest, mostly. They was up there just doing a whole bunch of motherfucking lying. But Miss Strawberry was trying to defend her daughter about that, you know, uh, that she, she said about calling her daughter a dog, okay? And I can understand you trying to defend your daughter, but mama, sometime when you know in your heart your child is wrong, you have to step back and let them catch the heat. And what she said about her child being a dog, I can't feel her with it. And then she gonna try to get mad and say that she do spend time with her motherfucking child. She spent at least two two months, I mean two days out of the month with well, she see the child twice a, a month. And even Yandy then was like, twice a you the mom? The bitch don't see that it's something wrong with that. Girl, you not raising your mom, your child, your mama doing that. You out here running behind community D. And your child at home being raised by your mama, and you all right with that child? I can't with this hoe, okay? Then they went to talking about, you know, her relationship with Cisco. And, you know, she was talking about uh, she wasn't supposed to be staying with a friend house, but when he seen the car service and everything, he had her go stay. Bitch, that man had no idea your dumb ass was really going to come, and he let that shit be known. He did not know that you was actually crazy enough to leave your own child coming out there on the pretense of trying to find a job and modeling, but in actuality, bitch, you was just chasing dick. And that makes you a weak hoe. And as my boy say, uh, say Sean Bradley say, it ain't safe in a world full of weak, sorry bitches. I don't get it, y'all. I don't get them. I don't. I can't stand that girl. 
You hear me? Her and Rich Dollars is the two on this motherfucking show. I cannot fucking stand them two motherfuckers. She's an unfit parent over here making Monique off of the Love and Hip Hop franchise looking like a goddamn saint. But, child, whatever shit. Woo, child. And I told y'all that, that they went back doing this segment to uh Erica interview and she said Diamond was disgusted for calling a child a kid. And Johnny Blaze got mad and she talked about Erica a little bit, you know, because she don't like her that much. Talked about her sagging uh, titties and everything. Anyway, that conversation quickly flipped over to Rich and Diamond and did they really fuck in that bathroom. And Johnny was like, you might as well go on and tell the truth because, you know, I know how you is and how you get down. You had me on all fours, but I'm a freaky type bitch. Well, it's supposed to be some audio or some old clips or something to this shit that we'll see next week. But that's where the reunion ended at, y'all. I, I, ugh, child. I tried to give y'all me. I just couldn't do nothing to tell y'all the truth. This shit was fucking whack to me. You know, I got a couple of key keys here and there. You know, Miss Kim and shit. Um, sir, please don't cut up on part two, please. But it was fun. You know, it was all right. I, it, it mm. You know, whatever. Mm, nothing that major. Anyway, y'all, I'm on a roll. I got Black Ink Crew coming up next. So please like, comment, subscribe. See y'all on the next video. Peace.